Yeah. All right, Ellie. All you. How many of you won that paper over? Raise your hand. Oh. <laughs> okay. How many of you want to have grandchildren when you're older? Exactly. Everyone wants to be in a loving family, but unfortunately, some kids in the foster care system are very unlucky. They're taken away from their families because they are unfit to take care of them. Their families are either sexual abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, medically abused, or drug abuse. It doesn't matter. They get taken away because of that. 13,000 kids are ripped away from their family each year just in Michigan. Drugs, when a family is on, a mother is on drugs, they don't care about what they're doing with their life. They just want to focus on themselves, not their kids. Not what my kids need to eat, not my kids need a shower. Do my kids have enough clean clothes for the week? No, it's always about what they need. They tend to they tend to abuse their kids as well. Either sexual abuse, mental abuse, or anything. Kids all around the state have been ripped away from their family for being unfit. Child Protective Services give them many chances before they take the kids away. 30 days it takes for a sexual 30 days it takes for Child Protective Services services to investigate 30 days how many how much abuse can you think will go on in that household afterwards well, <laughs> a family like a student if they're getting abused at school they usually tell someone and then cps goes to the house asks them questions why they feel unsafe there 30 days so much more abuse can go on and imagine if you're in that situation when you told the school that you felt unsafe at your own house and they came and talked to you. How mad do you think your abusive parents would be? <coughs> parents don't understand what they're doing is wrong. They want to punish their kids for making their mistakes or even bad habits. Parents on drugs usually want to spend their money on drugs rather than their kids. I personally know a woman who has a bad experience with drugs and sexually abuses her kids and physically abuses her kids. The court did not make her get her tubes tied, which I think is wrong. The parents of her made her get her tubes tied because they don't want to be accountable for her mistakes. Not saying having kids is a mistake, but her actions leading up to after having kids is a mistake. I think that the court should make the women get their tubes tied because they have to go through the birth and the nine months of having the kid. They don't have enough responsibility to have a kid, so why would they need a kid? At what point, though, Elle? They After have, they have a kid taken away. After a kid, a so kid. a single. Okay. So why is it fair that a woman has already had a kid taken away and can able to have another kid? It's not. People say, what if they change? Yeah, what if? But what if they don't? And the abuse still goes on, the drug abuse still goes on. If they change, good for them. But if they don't, it's just another repeating cycle. If they change, they could either take care of the kids that they already abandoned, or they can foster a kid like someone else did for their family. But I doubt the court will see it like that. A simple solution would be to, after having a kid taken away, a mother should be able to either get the birth control implant or have her tubes tied. And that's why I think that women should have their tubes tied is because they have the responsibility to have a kid, but they don't choose to make responsible actions. Oogie doogie.